All right, we are here at Flashback 19. This is Losers Finals. Mr. Bones versus SWS Loco. Mr. Bones has been like an absolute tear through Losers today. So let's see what we can do here in Losers Finals. Uh, you know, Loco coming straight off of a 3-2 Winners Final set, really intense. So uh, if he wants this run back, he's going to have to get past this Bowser. And he doesn't look like he have an issue at all. He's chaining lots of aerials together. And yeah. OK, Bowser. Yeah, uh, this uh, this matchup might be tough. I, Bowser being a really big and heavy slow character, I'm not sure how he's going to be able to get in on uh, Loco's rap, but let's see what he has up his sleeve. All right. Yeah, Bowser trying to establish stage cold with a bit of fire breath, but Loco using his top, not really allowing that to happen. Okay. Now, Bowser already at 100 and almost 150 percent. This is really quick. We're about a, oh, not even a minute into this match, and you know, Loco's just stacking on the heat. So let's see what we can do here. All right, a bear. Uh, kind of unsafe on shield. Now we've seen uh, numerous times in losers where Mr. Bones has been, you know, had this huge percent deficit, but he's just been able to clutch it out. So let's see if we can continue that trend here against Loco. All right. Yeah, I think one solid grab. And you can go do it. But now, Mr. Bones at this really, really high percent. He has a bunch of rage. A bunch of rage. And, like, a lot of things could kill Loco right now, as well as Mr. Bones. So, we're going to see if Loco is going to continue to be aggressive or just. Alright, up smash. That was safe. Okay. There. That should be the stock. Alright. Yeah, Bowser at 200% plus rage is not going to survive Rob's up throw. Okay, now I think Loco's going to go back to establishing stage control against um, Mr. Bones right here. Trying to just you know, keep him out a stack as about as much percentage as he did before. I think what Loco's going to have a problem in this matchup though is once he gets those Bowser's those high percentages, he's going to really have to start being the aggressor because he really can't just afford to keep lasering or top hitting with tops. Um, He's going to have to approach to get that stock. But, you know, Mr. Bones, I think once that happens, he's really good at just manipulating his uh, loco to get a bunch of hits. All right, Daniel Nair is going to do it. He's going to get the balloon as well. 95 to 0. This For Bowser, this is a lot. A good amount of hits can do this. All right, he's got the first up B. All right. Uh, not hanging in the right direction. That might have been a missing put. He might have meant to be reverse that. Okay. Good. He covered two options there. If the regular get up, if he hit the top, that uh, he would have flown into the up smash. But you know, Loco choosing to go for it anyway. So good stuff to Loco for uh, coming out on top here. We're gonna head to game number two. I think he's gonna offer a smaller stage like Lila Buffy or Dreamland somewhere. Where, um, so I'm not so flat where he can offer. Oh, Mr. Bones is opting for a character switch, it seems. To Sheik. Alright, we're gonna go to Sheik here. <laughs> Sheik or bust, right? So, here we go. Battlefield. Uh, Mr. Bones might have seen the earlier set here where, uh, actually Loco was unconfident his, uh, Rob could handle Sheik. Uh, he he had actually Loco resort to using Mega Man, but I think maybe Loco can take advantage. Here. All right, this counter pick is working so much better for uh, Mr. Bones than the last game, or much better than Bowser. All right. Yeah, these platforms are going to allow a lot of maneuverability for Sheik. He, he can allow him to dance around. Rob, really a character that's meant to control, you know, flat. With, Rob is like a character that really thrives on stages like Final Destination, Smashville, Town and City, because these are stages that are like really flat and allow a lot more easy stage control, as opposed to these stages where, uh, with Sheik, where he can just kind of dance around and, you know, and uh, Loco, I kind of, you know, is just playing a zoning character, has become the aggressor. 
Maloko is really no stranger. It's the reason why he's known as one of the most aggressive robs in Georgia is because of just his ability to take out a lot of players while you know being in an aggressive manner. I mean, he almost took out player three the other day. It was a really close set, so I really don't think he's trying to lose to Mr. Bones here. I think he really wants that run back. And, you know, more Sheik gets played better. More practice for him. Bouncing Fish is not going to clear out that stock. Very close, though. One more of those will do it. Okay. Oh, Mr. Bones with the SD. He flew down way too or, or Actually, no, he didn't fly. I think his angle on the recovery was just terrible because I think uh, Sheik should be able to survive at percentages like that. All right. Oh, look, I'm missing the tech right here. But he is going to have the percent lead due to that SD. So, Loco is going to have the momentum here. Okay, yeah, he is really using the top to keep, as anti-aerials, to keep Sheik out of the air. All right. Back throw. Good stuff. Are you going to catch the top? Now, they're just in neutral trying to bait each other out to do something. I think Loco's just trying to beat him defense now because he has no reason to approach. Uh, and, and this is where Loco really thrives off here is just making his opponent come to him. He really just doesn't, like, he can just bait his opponents. When he has the lead, he's really good at holding that, especially with a character like Rob that's kind of absolutely mandatory as a zoning character. Mr. Bones really needs to find, figure out something, a way to get past all these projectiles. Okay, there's one grab. Especially in a moment of game two, if he's about to go to two and oh, yes, he'll still have another set to play, or game to play out. But Loco's going to have um, the ability of, you know, to download his Sheik or, you know, download whatever character he decides to play as. It plays. And Loco's going to have a counter pick advantage. So I'm really interested in seeing uh, how Mr. Bones will handle this if he goes into that scenario in the first place. Alright. Mr. Bones trying to chase Loco off stage again. Not working out. Uh, using the landing leg of the bouncing shot. That should be it. Alright, up throw again. Loco is up 2 0 in this set. In order to take. In order to advance to player 3 in grand finals, Mr. Bones is going to have to do a reverse 3 0. Now, I wouldn't say all these matches. Now, th these matches haven't been convincing. But they certainly, you know, have been very beautiful for Loco. So I'm really interested in seeing what adjustments Mr. Bones makes in order to make this happen. First, he needs to take a game. Then he, needs, he has to use the momentum to carry him throughout this set. But he's going to run back. All right. Now, I think this counter pick worked out fine for Mr. Bones. I think that just SD, that SD just really messed him up. So I think... We'll have a game here if he just takes this match against Loco. Alright. Loco using the top just to keep Sheik out of the air. Down throw. Oh, gets the read, but not positioning himself well enough to get the second um, follow-up. Alright. Jeb. Okay. Bouncing fish. Now. Okay. I really like to see Mr. Bones you know, destroy Loco offstage. This one's playing a Sheik character can really edge guard Rob, but I think he's just not, you know, been doing it because after that SD it might have messed him up. But I really want to see more punches off stage. Alright. Oh, 
SDIing out of that. Good stuff. All right. Yeah, Loco, that should be a stock. Like we said before, Loco is really good at getting those below the stage um, up bears. Oh, is that going to be a stage spike? He's going to have enough up to make it back? Yes, he does. All right. At this pace, it looks like Loco is about to take out Mr. Bones and advance to Grand Finals. Uh, Mr. Bones is going to have to make a lot of adjustments here to make it, because he is down. Yeah, he's just getting destroyed right now. He can't find any footing. He can't escape the platforms. And he just started a rainy up smash, which kind of worked out, but that doesn't really set a good tone for the rest of this match. All right, back here. Okay, he's starting to find a bit of footing. Oh, he bounced it. That is exactly what he needed. Okay, 80% down. This is not impossible by any means. He needs to start. First thing you can do is get a grab. If you can get a grab, you can get about at least 20% on Loco, which doesn't even much, but he'll take anything he can get. All right. Down 90%. This could be it. No. Loco is not letting up these projectiles, firing as many as he can. Not giving any room for Mr. Bones to breathe. Alright, not opting for Bouncing Fish, instead opting for a fair. Maybe the Rage played a factor in his decision there. And that's up smash. That is going to be Loser's Finals. Look. Okay. Mr. Bones had a really good Loser's run. So, I don't think he'd be mad about that. But Loco is going to advance to play Player 3 in Grand Finals.